Okay, it's 7.23 a.m. and we're taking off from Heathrow, taking off to the east. Now we're going to turn slightly right and fly to Wimbledon, then up to the Millennium Dome and then back along the Thames. All going well. So let's go. Flying right into the sun at the moment. 50 knots, 60, 70, 80, 90, rotating and lift off. Gear up, flaps up, accelerating nicely. And let's start turning right and climbing to a thousand feet. Check out that very large crane. Uh, Mike India Golf One. Zero tower make zero zero seven. Continue for east departure. Okay, so let's climb to a thousand feet. So looking for. Um, Wimbledon, as I said, let's slow up a bit. Get trimmed up. Make sure everything is tidy to away. Mike India Golf One. Uh, we just flew over it. But we're going to fly over lots of things. Stadium. Now we can just see in the sunlight the tall buildings of central London, which will be uh, flying past in about three minutes. So there's a large park here with a lake in the middle. Let's get the GoPro out. I think that's how lake it is. It is indeed. So that's a good reference point. And if we're Aligned with that dirt road, we're heading pretty much where we want to be. And the wooden should appear on the left after the um, forest. Still want to climb a little bit. So I'm going slow because uh, two miles away, but these buildings they go by pretty quickly. Coming up there, and they're next to a lake, which helps immeasurably. So this side of the lake, and they're coming up. A bit hard to see in this light, but we've got two stadiums there. Excellent. Now, slight left turn now. Climbing back up. Slight left turn. Now. Uh, Framed against the white clouds there, we can see a group of buildings and two solitary buildings to the right. So if we aim for the one on the right, we'll find that that puts us right next to the uh, Millennium Dome, which is about seven miles away now. Actually, just start to see the dome there. Bear in mind, this is still early in the morning. Now, there's a river bend going across in front of us, and then the river curves back to the left, and the dome's in there. So, we'll just keep on this heading. We're going to turn left around the dome, and come back along. along that away and follow the river to about out there there's the um, London Eye, the Ferris wheel up there excellent okay you can see the dome now it's let down to about 500 feet and we're going to swing around behind the dome and back to the left. It's 
matting down, slowing down as well. No hurry, we want to see as much as we can. A leisurely turn around the day. Well, actually, not that leisurely. Because we won't fly just to the right of those buildings, actually. And we always get a big stutter right there, no matter what I do. Photogrammetry on, photogrammetry off. level of detail, nothing seems to make a difference, it must be a glitch in the database I would say. And out of 200 plus places I've been to, this is the only place I've seen a stutter like that. So, well, not too fast. I'm sure in time it'll be fixed. In the meantime we'll press on. So there's the dome. And our turn puts us nicely on track to sail up the Thames. I watch my speed, it is getting a bit low. But this whole area, just around this bend, is um, like stutter bonanza. And like I said, I don't know how to stop it. But we'll revisit it at a later date. when it will uh, intuitively be sorted out. Okay, pretty smooth sailing from now on. So we just follow the river for about two or three minutes. Next landmark we're going to see is the Tower Bridge. Coming up very quickly. Let's get the right camera onto it. There it is. Now I've heard you can fly through it, but uh, I won't test that today. Lots of other famous landmarks around, but that's the one I've put the waypoint on. The next one is going to be London Eye, just around the next bend. So, I mean, there's so much to see here. You could probably do 50 flights around London, just looking at the uh, more famous landmarks. And maybe I'll do that. Here we go, London Eye. Excellent. Getting pretty close. Got wave to the punters. And then keep following the river. Going around and around and around. Now, about two miles away on the right hand side of the river, let's climb a bit and we should see Chelsea Stadium. In fact, I can see it now. It's pretty much right next to the river. Slow up and get a couple of photographs. Here it comes. Awesome. Okay, now I'll fly straight ahead and we're back to the airport. So it's really a pretty simple flight plan. Wimbledon, Millennium Dome, follow the river back to the airport. Yeah, it's about six or eight miles straight ahead now. Let's climb back to, let's say, 1500 feet. And make ourselves known. For landing. Be 
throw tower. Like India Golf 5. Throw tower MiG 007 is 8 miles east, 1,100 feet with India to land. MiG 007 Heathrow Tower. Altimeter 290, get to all 90, get wind 7, get wind 7. Make straight in runway 27 right. Okay. Like India Golf 1. Straight in runway 27 right, MiG 007. Straight in, straight ahead. Mike India Golf 1. To land runway so, right, make zero, zero, seven. doesn't get much better than that. Flying along the river past the stadium, straight onto the runway. Gear down. Yeah, flaps coming down. That is pretty awesome. Transiting, speeds dropping, throttle back, feels good, flaps are down. Mm -hmm. Here's the outer marker. 152 knots. Bit low, but we're visual now anyway. 121, sinking, threshold speed, 111, very good, adding power, flaring, and touchdown at 100. Well, despite the starter armour back there, uh, it was a good landing. So I won't do more flights in London until that um, little problem's fixed back there. And then we'll come back and have some more fun. The name of the game. 